Hey folks, this is Rod with Win by Doing. Just want to give you an update what's going on this last week, couple weeks, going into um, through this weekend. I um, it's been kind of a rough time right now. We have experienced a loss in the family. My wife and I will be handling the estate, which between the emotions and um, just trying to figure out what all needs to do be done. I mean, it's not something that you typically you learn about. You don't know about what to do in these situations. So there will be some time taken to um, work through the emotions and deal with the property and, and stuff like that. So that, it's kind of sad times right now for my wife and I. We're in the middle of trying to purchase a house because they had raised the rent we were renting currently. So we put in an offer on a house. So we're waiting to find out in the next couple of days whether the offer was accepted. And it's kind of funny. our. The house that we're trying to purchase is actually two doors down from where we're living now. So it'll be a relatively easy move. We are in the first quarter of 2018, which means ice cream weather is going to be creeping up on us pretty soon. We usually try to, if the weather improves in the March, beginning of April, we like to get out on the road. I don't know if many of you that have just recently subscribed know this, but outside of my full-time job, we, my wife and I, we own an ice cream truck business. We currently have two trucks that will go out on the road. I have a small mail Jeep that I need to do some repairs, get it up and running, and get a freezer situation for it because it's such a low profile, fitting a regular deep freeze, chest freezer isn't really conducive because you can't really reach over the top of the the freezer to see what's in there from a seated position. So we'll be working on that and we're looking at purchasing a new truck so we can get another truck out on the road, possibly two. It just depends on whether we can find, find them at a good deal and um, get them all ready for the winter, for the summer. So looking forward to that. Summer is always a great time of year for us because it is a seasonal business. Uh, so we've got that going on. And this Saturday, I'm participating in my first flea market. I saw an ad on Facebook that they were doing a flea market at the fairgrounds. So I went ahead and put in my application. It was um, $30 plus $10 cleaning fee, so $40 for the day. I don't know if that's a good rate or not. If any of you guys have participated in flea markets, let me know what it is in your areas as far as rental space. This is for a 10 by 10 spot. Going into this kind of blindly, I plan on just, even though it is inside, I'm gonna take my canopy. I've got 10 by 10 canopy I'm gonna set up along with some tables and I've got quite a few items in my inventory that I do not have listed in eBay. A lot of it is because it's size. I mean, I have like a rainbow vacuum cleaner. I have um, some of my some larger items, as well as I'm going to try to get rid of a lot of the media, the DVDs, the CDs, video games. Uh, I figure, you know, as low as video games, especially particularly the PS2 games. You know, you're not getting a ton of profit on those on eBay. So I'm hoping, crossing my fingers, that I'll be able to unload some of those at the flea market. And I've got a few clothing items, some vintage military, uh, and just a wide variety of things. Like I said, I don't know. I know I have, um, I'll take at least enough to fill my 10 by 10 spot. And I'm not real sure if I'll be able to put more stuff in the truck so I can replenish as things sail. I'm really hoping that it ends, it turns out okay, but we'll see. I'll, I'll see if I can get some footage of that this weekend and um, maybe do some video with my GoPro set up and, and do a quick walk through the, the flea market. I mean, it's not gonna be huge if you've seen, um, or been to flea markets and some larger 
communities in states that have them all the time. I know California, they have huge ones. I just, I saw the one that Steve and Steph from Resale Killers did um, last week, and that was like enormous. So I'm hoping that even though it's considerably smaller, the fact that they don't do them that often, you don't find flea markets very often here, that it'll have a pretty good turnout. Anyway, I think that just about covers it. So hopefully I'll be able to get back into doing content soon and uh, or more content on a regular basis. That was my goal for 2018. But um, yeah, that's it anyway. We will catch you the next time. As always, like, subscribe, subscribe, and or like, and we'll catch you next time. Peace out.